In this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration of how generator functions work in JavaScript. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. We're going to go ahead and define a function called greeting. Greeting will take in a name, and then inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to use a special keyword called yield. And yield will make the method return. So I'm going to do yield hello. Then we'll do another yield, how are you? Then we'll do a final yield that just returns the name. Now to actually define this as a generator function, what we need to do is put a star after the function. Once we do that, then we're allowed to use the yield keyword. Now to invoke this function, what we can do, we can do it actually in two ways. Let me show you the first way. We're going to define a greet, and the greet is going to be equal to a greeting. So we're going to take that function, we're going to pass in a name. Now with that greet, what we can do is we can invoke the function. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to call next, and then we're going to ask for the value that was returned. So will just say console.log and we'll print that to the screen. Now when I call this greet.next, it goes inside the function, executes, finds a yield, and stops. Then it stops the execution, exits the method, and gives us the value. Now, if I paste this line again, now you see, how are you? So over here, it goes in here, returns yield hello. We print the value on the screen. Then it goes inside that method again, stops over here because it remembers that it just finished executing that line and prints, how are you? Then if we call it one more time, we get, hello, how are you, Adam? And it's it, we get to this last yield over here. We try calling it one more time you can imagine like an invisible pointer saying where we are so since there's nowhere else to go we get an undefined now this yield return over here that we have this yielding function this generator it's kind of like an array so we can actually loop over this function over here and get all the values out in one shot so i'll create another greet i'll call it greeting and we'll say adam again except that this time what we're going to do is a loop We'll do a for loop and we'll say text of greet to, and then all we have to do is say console.log text, and then I can print that out again. So here's our second execution of hello, how are you, Adam? And it's being printed again using this for loop. Now, another thing that we could do is we could make an infinite generator function. So let's check that out. I'm going to create a function called get number and it takes in a number, a starting number. Now what it does is it does a while loop with a true, which means it's going to loop forever. And while it's looping forever, all we're going to do is a yield num plus plus and return that number. Now we can go over here and define that function. So we'll say const get num equals to get number and we'll pass in a starting number of 10. Then what we'll do is we can do the same thing we did above. We just can do a console.log, and we can say get num.next, and then give it a value. And then when we print that, we get the number 10 on the screen. Now if I copy that a bunch of times, we'll get a whole bunch of numbers on the screen here, as it keeps incrementing that number well, it loops forever. So we come over here, we execute, it goes back up, and it remembers what that number was, and then increments it. So it keeps incrementing. And to take this example just a little bit further, what we could do is we could do just a little for loop over here, do a let i is equal to 0, and then well, i is less than 10, and i++. plus plus. And then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing, console.log, and we're going to go ahead and say get num dot next dot value and that'll guess the next value and then you can see it continues to loop over and we get 10 more numbers hopefully that helps you understand how generator functions work how execution stops every time you hit a yield and the next time you call next dot value it goes ahead and executes the next line within your generator function if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like and share